So let's start with Venus. If we take a look at Venus, we see that Venus is much closer to the Sun than Earth. It's lying just on the inner edge of the habitable zone, according to this figure with the green shading in it. Um, because Venus is closer to the Sun, it's experiencing much more solar radiation. So where Earth maintains a fairly constant temperature of uh, 61 degrees, um, Fahrenheit, uh, Venus has a temperature of 460 degrees Celsius or about 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, so that's hot, obviously. Uh, much too hot for any type of water, liquid water, to stay present on the planet and certainly too hot to um, support any type of life that we know. Um, you may say that, wow, that seems like a really big difference between temperatures of Earth and Venus, and you're right. Um, not only does Venus exist closer to the Sun, but Venus is also lacking a magnetic field around itself. Um, Earth generates a magnetic field by the rotation of plate tectonics within its mantle. So you have plates that are rubbing against each other and you have lots of things that are shifting and rotating around the core, inner core mantle and upper mantle. And we'll get into all that later, but that rotation creates a magnetic field that protects the Earth from the solar winds generated by the sun. These solar winds are not um, diverted as they approach Venus by any magnetic field. Therefore, when they hit Venus, they're actually stripping away all of the hydrogen and oxygen uh, from the planet. So um, not only is it a problem with being closer to the sun, but it's also a problem with the integral architecture of the planet.